Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're going to talk about all the analysis saying that our economy is going to have a V-shaped recovery. If you don't know what a V-shaped recovery is, I'm going to explain it in this video and all the other type of recoveries that our economy could have. There's many different types. I'm going to explain it in this video right now and how our economy is not really looking like a V-shaped recovery at the moment. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Hey, welcome back YouTube. Also, welcome to all my new subscribers that have just subscribed to the channel. If you have not yet, go down to the subscribe button and click that button and also hit the thumbs up at the end of this video to make sure that you watch it all the way through. Today, we're gonna be talking about how all the analysis is saying that our economy is gonna have a V-shape ever since the pandemic news had came out. Pretty much every stock had took a dramatic dip when the pandemic uh, news had came out and pretty much most stocks, if not all stocks, have shot down uh, 20, 30 percent in a matter of a week or two. So with that to say, stocks are not going to go down forever. They eventually have to recover. And I'm going to show you guys six different ways that these uh, that our economy can recover. The one that the analysis are saying that how our economy is going to recover and which one our company, our economy is currently recovering at at this rate right now. And then we're gonna take a step back and not only look at the economy, but look at stocks that are beating the economy. And we're going to look at what stocks can we actually buy at the moment to beat the economy um, recovery curve. So let's pull up a chart right quick on my laptop and dive straight into it. All right, guys, I got a couple of charts up on my laptop that we're gonna go over. Currently, all the analysis are saying that we're gonna have a V-shaped recovery. That means that when the news came out, our market was going up, 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 six to eight percent every single year. The news, the bad news came out, the pandemic, and the stock market took a dramatic crash right there. So the V-shape, uh, it recovers, but it's going to have a permanent loss from the dip right there, and then eventually recovers and then goes back on the line. So that little dip right there is where we have a loss, and we're never going to get that back. The economy is never going to get that back, even though the stocks is going to continue to gain, continue up this linear curve right here, this linear line right here. Um, our economy did take a hit, and we're never going to get that back. So this is what analysis is saying how our economy is going to recover. So the next way that our economy can recover is the U-shape. The U-shape recovery is slower than the V. Uh, it takes a dramatic drop right there off the uh, linear line. And then it takes a very long time to recover, going up very slowly and then eventually getting back on that line and back on track. And it, it takes a very long time. So ideally, V is better than U. But U, it does recover. You are going to make your money back, but it's going to take a year to three, maybe four years to fully recover. The next one is the swoosh. It's just like the Nike check. When you think of the swoosh, think of the Nike check. It's right here, bam, and then a check right there. Uh, the recovery is longer than V-shape, but it's faster than the U-shape because um, right, right there is on the linear line. The stocks are doing great. Pandemic news come out, it crashes, and then it, it, it's a quick, quick curve back up to being back on path to where our economy was on track to be at that point. So we're still gonna have a loss, but it's quicker than the U shape, but longer than the V shape. So that right now is currently how our economy is recovering at the moment is the swoosh. Okay, the next one is the Z shape. This is the best one possible that could happen for any of us right now. Um, that is when bad news comes out, it overreacts all the price market, all the price um, value drops, people buy back in, it, it goes above the line, above the curve. So this hump right here is actually making up for this loss in the economy right here. This gain in the economy is making up for this loss in the economy and then back to this line. So there's essentially no loss in the economy at all. Uh, what went down came back up and above and then back onto the line and that is how um, that would be the ideal, the perfect, the best state of any bad news that comes out in the stock market would be the Z-shaped recovery. But it's not looking like we're gonna have a Z-shaped recovery. So let's move on to the next way that our 
economy can recover. All right. So this one is still a possibility, the W-shaped recovery. Um, that is when restrictions are lifted too soon. People are allowed to go outside too soon and get back sick. And then, you know, they might have to shut back down the government again. They shut back down the uh, economy again. So um, the bad news come out, it goes down, it comes back up. Hey, everything's going to be okay. Let's open back up essential businesses. Let's open back up the world and then and more cases come up and then it drops back down uh so this is still a possibility and then after everything blows over it could go back up in recovery eventually getting back on the uh on the line so the w is still a possibility and also the last one the l shape recovery would be the worst uh for our economy that is when um the bad news come out and we never fully recover at all. It drops and then it never catches back up to the path the, the economy was on in the first place. The price eventually, if you draw a line right here, if the price point was right here is at $50, draw all the way across and at $50, you will uh, eventually make your money back and the economy will be back profitable. It's just that we never make up for this large dip right there in the economy. So what I'm gonna do now that you guys know the six different types of ways that our economy can recover, I'm gonna pull up Robinhood and look at stocks and see how exactly are they recovering according to these charts and which ones are outperforming the swoosh or V-shaped curve to see what stocks can we buy to help our portfolio gain in the long run. So let's pull up Robinhood right now. I pulled up a couple of stocks that's in my portfolio and I'm going to show you how they recover. The first one that we're going to talk about is the swoosh, the Nike check one. When you think of swoosh, think of the Nike check one. So if we draw a line right here, let me pull up red. We draw a line right here, the economy of Vanguard, ticker symbol VOO, the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Uh, that is the track that it was on right there. Then the bad news came out. It took that dip right there and is eventually slowly making that Nike check to get back to that line. If it was a V-shaped recovery, it would have took the dip from the pandemic news and already been back on track to, um, to get back on the path that uh, the economy was on the first time, that the stock was on the first time. So that is Vanguard VOO. Let me show you another example of the Nike swoosh. So let me pull up Google right now. All right, so we have Google right here. Google it has a clear line that the path that this company was on. The bad news came out. If it was a V-shape, remember, it would have been right there already back on that path. And right now it's taking the Nike swoosh shows down and then up taking that Nike swoosh right there. So that is uh, G-O-O-G-L, Google, the alphabet company. Um, so these companies are recovering you're eventually going to make your money back if you do invest to the stock market uh at any time google is always a safe one to invest into but right now they're having a swoosh shape recovery the nike check so i have one more in my portfolio that's actually doing a swoosh check recovery and that is microsoft so let me pull up microsoft right quick okay so here we are with microsoft you can see that they was on this path right here bad news came out in the check so Looking, so defining the swoosh should be pretty simple for you guys now. I gave you three different examples of the swoosh. Um, so let me find one that was actually pretty hard to find in my portfolio, and that was the Z-shaped recovery. So let me pull up two that was pretty close to the Z-shaped recovery, and, um, and we're gonna go over it in the charts right now. So I found two in my um, portfolio that was pretty close to the Z-shaped recovery. One of them was Walmart. You can, you can see that Walmart was right along this path right there, uh, gaining a couple of percent every single year. Um, and then the bad news that came out, it took a dip, went back up above where Walmart has been projected to be at, and then back down along that curve. So Walmart essentially had no loss. This little area down here where they had a loss, has been made up from this area up here. So I went down and then back up and then back down onto that line in order for Walmart to have a Z-shaped recovery. So uh, I have a couple of shares of Walmart in my portfolio, had a Z-shaped recovery, and I'm glad I did pick up this company when I did. 
uh, the next one I have in here was Clorox. All right, so Clorox right here, you can see that they was on a good, they've been killing it. Uh, people was, uh, the bad news had came out uh, for a day or two, Clorox had dropped down right there. And then when they realized they had to go to the store, buy all of their cleaning products, they lost all the Clorox, the bleach, uh, they had a big major spike right there. And then back down to be back on the curve that uh, Clorox was on. So right now Clorox is actually up 36% on the year uh, with a little Z-shaped recovery right there. And it's pretty much actually killing it, continuing to rise up every single week. So those on what was the hardest ones to find in my portfolio, the Z-shaped recovery. Uh, so that is what a Z-shaped recovery kind of looks like right there. So the next one I'm gonna show you is W-shape. So let me pull up PepsiCo right quick. Okay, so once again, W-shape is when the company's doing good, bad news come out, uh, the economy opens back up too soon right there and then it goes back on the mark so pepsico has been doing uh going up steadily at this right right there the bad news came out let's zoom in a little bit the bad news came out right here it dropped down uh pepsico started to recover um we opened up the economy too quick people started getting sick again uh, workers couldn't go to work delivery drivers couldn't deliver pepsi um, eventually falls back down and it has a chance to recover again. That's PepsiCo. The, the next one I'm going to show you is WM. This one also have a <laughs> W-shaped recovery. Get it, WM, W. So let's put that up right quick. Okay, here we go with WM. Draw that line on where it was at. Draw the line where WM was at. It's going to it drop from the news. And then it started to recover and then it looking like it's taking another dip right there right at the end um uh, right there so it could be a w-shaped recovery if it doesn't recover from that little dip right there so that is waste management you don't really know what recovery is going to be until it completely fully recovers but right now wm had is looking like a w-shaped recovery all right so now let's look at some companies that had an l-shaped recovery remember l-shape is not the best recovery at all it is kind of the worst so let's take a couple look at some of uh, some companies in my portfolio that has a l shape all right so at&t is looking like it has a l shape it's still down six percent on the year um it was doing pretty good bad news came out and then it's just bam right there nothing is really going on is it ever going to recover eventually it'll recover back to where it was and start being back profitable and making a lot of money again but it's never gonna um really make up for the loss in the time that has so low underneath where this company was heading in the direction that this company was heading. So that is a L shape. This is what a company looked like when it has a L shape recovery. Another one is also Disney. So let's pull up Disney right quick. All right, so here's Disney. Disney, uh, of course, they have all their streaming platforms, all their cartoons, all their toys, but right now, the Disney World, Disneyland, they're all closed and it's taking a big hit on the company. There's nothing that they can really do about it. If we draw a line right there, that's the direction that this company was heading. And it took a big dip. The company is still down 17.5%. And it's just, it's, it's just an L shape going sideways. It, it might be a long time before Disney fully recovers on where they should be. And the last one is a U-shaped recovery. I found one in my portfolio, took some with IIPL. Um, right here, the bad news had came out, Drop, dropped down. So it was along that path right there. All right, so it was along that path right there. It took a dip and is eventually going to recover, sort of, kind of. It was hard to find a U-shaped one, all right? So, um, but so far in my portfolio, I did not see any V's, V shapes. So um, I really don't think that the economy is gonna have a V shape recovery economy. So let's take a look at my portfolio overall and see what kind of recovery it has over the last year. All right, so if we take a look at my portfolio right here. Um, I was doing pretty good. The path that it was on was right there. Took a dip from the news and it's kind of looking like a L shape, not quite a V shape, not quite a swoosh, but it's looking like a L. Um, I'm still up on the year 1.73% of $305.51. That's changing day to day, but 
um it is not back to where this line should be at and right now it is currently looking like a l all right you two so i gave you six different type of ways our economy can recover if you have made it to the end of this video make sure that you go down and hit that thumbs up button it really helps out a lot and also subscribe to the channel down in the comment section i want you to go down there and comment how is your portfolio looking right now do you are you having a v-shaped recovery a z-shaped recovery a nike swoosh or an l or a u or if you have any type of uh, company in your portfolio that does show a v-shaped recovery leave that down in the i mean leave that down in the comment section uh, i would like to see and take a look at those companies that you guys have in your portfolio but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out see you again next time peace